Okay, going to do a garden update here on what is today, July 17th, Monday. I um, had to water everything over the weekend. It's been hot and sunny and we've had storms come through or threaten to come through and then just veer off to the side. I think yesterday there was lightning, or not lightning, there was thunder for a few hours, but it never turned anything into anything. So I finally had to just water everything. Um, things are starting to look a little dry. So picked beans today. This row here, this first row, um, about two thirds of the way down is green beans. And that's what's in the bucket here. I had most of a bucket full, about four gallons of them. I've already broken some and taken them inside. But, uh, I'm eating about two pounds a day right now and gave some away too. I'll have to give most of these away because I don't think I can eat any more than that. But they're really producing now. Uh, the lima beans are putting on pods. Won't have any to pick for a while yet. Um, and then I've got gourds that I planted here. Just kind of in some spots where there weren't as many beans. I'm pretty sure they'll climb. I don't know that for sure, but I think they will. These other beans here that are looking dry, it's because they're they're getting done. Um, these to the right here are black turtle bean, which is these these little little ones. Um, so they look like they're gonna pretty much set on all at once and then be done. So then I'll have to plant something else where they are. Um, at the end of this row of green beans, there's red kidney beans, which would be these here like you get like you get in chili that kind of thing so they're getting they're starting to wrap up too and these weedy rows here one reason I do this these videos even though the, it's kind of embarrassing sometimes the weeds is just kind of to show that you don't have to be perfect you can find lots of you can find lots of videos of people with perfect gardens but I figure it's good to see that, you know, you can do, uh, you, you can fall behind on it, you can have things fail or things get choked out with weeds and you can still, you can still get plenty of food out of your garden, so. Um, but I've been weeding out here the last couple of days. Some days it's just been too hot to deal with it, but um, kind of getting caught up on it now, so I'll have these weeds out of here pretty soon. But here I've got a couple of watermelon plants that came up volunteer from last year and so I just let them go they're gonna kind of probably take over here when these beans are gone um, but there's one here I think they're moon and stars which get pretty big and I don't think that's a hybrid so I think they should come back true and and uh, be be perfectly good watermelons um, the sweet corn, I actually did pick two ears of sweet corn yesterday. Um, I'm going to end up having to give a lot of that away too, because I don't really need to be eating too much of that, but, um, I've been, I think I mentioned before, I've been low carbon this year, and the, the, the beans, green beans aren't really carby enough, even eating a lot of them to cause a problem, but too much sweet corn probably would. So... I think those ears are probably ready, so I need to pick some more of that. You can tell that my fertilizing of the of the garden spot here, at least where the corn is, was kind of um, irregular this year. You can tell that there's more fertilizer here at this end than there is out there in the middle. Um, when I was putting it out there, I think I thought I was going to be tilling it a few more times that would spread it out more and then I only ended up tilling it maybe one more time so it didn't get spread out that well um, and corn really shows that corn needs a lot of nitrogen so I have to keep that in mind for next year although I won't plant corn in the same spot again you know, I try to move things around um, just weeded around the strawberries here they're starting to send out some runners This one here, this one here is sent out a runner, so it'll it'll root down out here, so they'll they'll gradually fill in this space. Um, 
one of my aunts posted a picture of these beetles. It must have been in her in her yard. They're uh, they're on these beans. They're a Japanese bean beetle, and they mostly eat beans. They also eat rose blossoms. They're they're kind of particular. There's just a few things that they like, but you can see what they do to the beans. If there's enough of them, they they just leave this lace. They eat all the they eat all the leaf out from in between the the veins of the leaf. So I need to come out here. I'm not I don't really care that much about these these particular beans, but no sense in just letting them be eaten up. Um, the way to get rid of them, I'm I'm sure you can poison them, but um, if you don't want to do that, the way to get rid of them is to bring out a bucket of uh, soapy water and just especially in the mornings if you come out and just jostle the plant, they'll fall in the bucket of soapy water. They can't get out, and then you're done with them. Um, they don't they don't seem to reproduce themselves that much. So if you come out and do that one or two days, it seems like that pretty much solves the problem. They're not like a squash bug where if you've got four one day, you've got a thousand the next day. Um, let's see. Around here... I think I mentioned before the potatoes were almost a loss. I might have dug some up, but they didn't produce a whole lot because they competed with the, the grass and the tree. I do have a couple of pepper plants over here that are doing okay. Um, over here in the grotto, I had this this little um, jug greenhouse on this catnip plant because the chickens had scratched all the others up so I put it on there to protect it from the chickens. Those actually work really well. You just cut the bottom off of a like a milk jug or a bleach jug or something like that. Any sort of gallon jug. You just cut the bottom of it off and then um, I just put this, this fence post down through it to hold it in place and that plant had gotten big enough it was kind of filling up the jug so I took the jug off well then I came out here today and one of the cats like it was this cat the, the kind of the grand the matriarch of the clan she was just laying here on this plant just rolling back and forth on it just grinding it into the dust so and now this one's wanting to do the same thing get out of there boy so I chased her off, put the jug back on it, I went and got some water to, to water it with, and hopefully it'll survive. I think it's got enough, I think it's got enough roots established, it would be hard to kill it off, but if I just, if I just let them roll on it, they probably will. Um, but I guess it's doing what catnip does, because she was, she was having fun with it, and now he is. Which means this in here is the mint. I wasn't sure which was which, but... That's coming along now. I think I'll pause this and run over to the other ones. Okay, in this garden, um, this one, everything's just been growing like crazy, including the weeds. So I started cleaning them out again. I've weeded this patch a couple times now, but they're getting bad again. Um, I don't know if I need to go through everything out here, but this is a row of navy beans. They actually, they kind of seem like they could use a fence. I don't know. They seem like they would climb if they had a fence to climb. But this stuff is borage. I've never grown it before. I don't quite remember why I grew it this year, but it's um, it's an herb. And it's also supposed to, I think these blossoms are supposed to attract bees. Um, it's attracting those bean beetles too, those Japanese beetles. I have to remember to knock them off of there. Um more beans over here. I don't remember what kind. Over here on this side, I just kind of have an assortment of plants. Like there's a tomato, there's a cabbage that needs to be dug out of the weeds. There's the uh, volunteer potato from last year that'll be done soon. There's cauliflower, I think, there. There's some lettuce that's gone to seed, or bolted. I'm just waiting for it to finish so I can harvest the seed. 
um, let's see, more cabbages and there's broccoli out here somewhere. Oh, this is um, this is celery. I think it's regular celery. I don't think it's celery root. I guess I'll have to check my check my notes on that. But um, let's see, Some more beans. Come around the end here. Uh, just kind of an assortment of things out here. There's Swiss chard. It's starting to get big enough. This is turnips. Some of them are probably big enough to pull. Oh yeah, there's a good one. Put that one in. Um, there's kale there. I'm just kind of a, this, this and that down through there. Things that I just had a few seeds of. And these are zucchini, and I've been picking quite a few zucchini, but I had to powder them the other day. It's kind of the one thing I will powder. I generally prefer not to use poisons if I can, but squash bugs are just a, they're a problem. If they get started, there's not much you can do other than that. Because they will, if they get going for very long on your plants, they will just destroy them. And they'll just they'll bore into the they'll bore into the vines and they'll die. And that'll be the end of them. So I did powder those. Um, and then this here is watermelon. I'm not sure how many plants anymore because they're just kind of all going everywhere. But there should be some watermelons out in there somewhere. These are the ones I actually planted this year. They're not volunteers. So, let me pause this and check the last spot. Oh, and one more thing. There is a patch of zinnias over here. They're supposed to be for, these are called cut and come zinnias. I think that's come and cut, cut and come, I don't know. Um, they're supposed to be good for cutting and taking in, putting in a vase. I haven't been doing that. I think they look fine out here. But, uh, so I've got those there. All right, now to the other garden. Okay, this is garden number three. This is the one that's a mess. Um, I do have this nice patch of Swiss chard here. I haven't really been eating it lately because I've had so many green beans to keep up on, but the Swiss chard, you can kind of just let it sit for a while and, and it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't bolt or go bad or anything. It does kind of gradually get eaten up by bugs but then it puts on more leaves, so it's no big deal. Um, this patch is more than half just weeds, where I had stuff before and then used it, or or the weeds choked it out. Um, you can see the onions. There's a row of onions there that are going to seed. Um, a few of them are going to seed. So I'm letting them go to seed to raise for next year. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is mowed down through here the other day but I think what I'm going to do is cover all this with paper I've got some paper and cardboard some big sheets of paper that I can cover this with and then put the mulch on top of that and I think that's what I'm going to do with this spot for next year because it's not it's not the best soil anyway it's got too much clay in it and so I'm going to go ahead and start mulching it for next year and just kind of say okay I'm I'm done fighting with fighting with the weeds here for this year. But I do have some good tomato plants here. Um, here's one on the end. Starting to get some tomatoes on it. I think they're all paste type, Roma type tomatoes, although I could be wrong about that. Um, but there's several of them down through here that I've kind of got to, been keeping the weeds back away from. And one here that the tomato Tomato worms worked over pretty hard for a few days before I found them all. But other than that, they've been they've been in pretty good shape. Um, there's another one here. I need to get the weeds back off of them again. And then I've got a couple of pepper plants. I think these are ancho peppers, and they're just starting to put on blooms. 
and they look pretty good now that I've got them dug out of the weeds. So, so that's the deal with this spot. This is going to get either mowed down or tilled down just lightly to, to knock all the weeds down and then and then put paper down and mulch on top of that to start getting it ready for next year. So I think that's the update for today and uh, do another one of these in probably a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.